Hello YouTube students, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at an inscribed angles problem. We have triangle ABC is inscribed in circle O and the ratio of the measure of arc AB to the measure of arc BC to the measure of arc CA equals 4 to 5 to 6 and we need to find the measure of angle C. But angle C is an inscribed angle so we could use the inscribed angles theorem which states that the measure of an inscribed angle is equal to one half the measure of the arc that it intercepts. So we could say that the measure of angle C is equal to one half the measure of arc AB. And now the reason why we would target arc AB is because when we form angle C using line segments BC and AC, those two line segments contain arc AB. So that's what it means for inscribed angle C to intercept arc AB. So this allows us to target arc AB now. Once we find the measure of arc AB, we can find the exact measure of inscribed angle C. So next we need to focus on ratios. In general, when we have a continued ratio, A to B to C, and we look at some non-zero variable X, we could say that the ratio A to B to C equals AX to BX to CX. So that allows us to look at this ratio, 4 to 5 to 6, and now we can introduce a non zero variable x and we can say that this ratio is equal to 4x to 5x to 6x and now the reason why we want to focus on this continued ratio is because 4x to 5x to 6x represents all the ratios all the continued ratios that would reduce back to 4 to 5 to 6 if you were to plug in let's say x equals 2 it would say 8 10 12 x equals 3 would give you 12 15 18 so this just represents the entire set of those and that will allow us to find the exact arc measures in this problem because now we have the measure of arc AB or well, the ratio of the measure of arc AB to the measure of arc BC to the measure of arc CA we have that this ratio equals 4x to 5x to 6x because in the beginning of the problem, we stated that the ratio of these measures was equal to 4 to 5 to 6. So now we just replace 4 to 5 to 6 with 4x to 5x to 6x. And now we just compare the corresponding parts, and we have the measure of arc AB is equal to 4x. The measure of arc BC is equal to 5x. And we have the measure of arc CA is equal to 6x. So now we need to consider the fact that the sum of all of the arc measures in a circle is 360 degrees. So if we add arc AB, or the measure of arc AB, we have the measure of arc AB plus the measure of arc BC plus the measure of arc CA equals 360 degrees. Just section this off. Okay, so now we could replace we could substitute each of the measures for these arcs with 4x, 5x, and 6x. So we're going to replace the measure of arc AB with 4x. We could replace this measure of arc BC with 5x. And finally, we could replace the measure of arc CA with 6x. And remember, this is all equal to 360 degrees. So now we have three like terms. We're going to add all of the coefficients together. So we have 4 plus 5 is 9. 9 plus 6 is 15. So we have 15 x's equal to 360 degrees. So now to solve for x, we divide both sides by 15. And this tells us that x is equal to 24 degrees. So now, remember, we could find the measure of all of these arcs, but the only one we need for this problem is the measure of arc AB. And remember, the measure of arc AB was equal to 4x when we used the continued ratio in the algebraic form. So now to find the measure of arc AB, well, now we could just replace x with 24 degrees, because we just solved this in the previous step. So now we have 4 times 24 degrees. So the measure of arc AB is equal to 96 degrees. So now we need to substitute. Remember, in the very beginning of the problem, we wrote down this equation using the inscribed angles theorem. So now we have the measure of angle C is equal to one half the measure of arc AB, but we just found that measure to be 96 degrees. So we have the measure of angle C is equal to one half of 96 degrees. So the measure 
of angle C equals 48 degrees. And we can label this also on the diagram as well. Okay, so we have our answer to this problem. Find the measure of angle C. We have the measure of angle C equals 48 degrees. This is going to conclude this inscribed angles problem and this video. Thank you all for watching and I hope this was helpful.